This is the story of Peter Taftafua, a Tongan Taekwondo Olympian who in only a year qualified for the Winter Olympics in cross-country skiing. His story has stunned the world and inspired young people around the globe to follow their dreams. From an early age, Peter Taftafu began to challenge himself, trying new sports, beginning Taekwondo at the age of five. His lifelong dream was to win the first Olympic gold medal for Tonga. He trained for 20 years to reach the Olympics in Taekwondo. During this 20 year training period, Peter Taftafu received six broken bones, three torn ligaments, spent a year and a half on crutches, and three months in a wheelchair. Eventually, after all his training, he qualified for the Olympics in Rio 2016, making a stunning entrance to the Games as the flag bearer for Tonga. And here's their flag bearer, Peter, and he's hot! Peter Topa Topa, look at that! At the opening ceremony, Taftafu walked onto the stage wearing only a traditional Tongan skirt and rubbed in coconut oil. He became a viral sensation known as the shirtless Tongan. Unfortunately, this Tongan's career in Rio fell short, losing out in the first round of the Taekwondo tournament. But this setback only made him challenge himself further. In December 2016, Taftafu set a new goal, to make the Winter Olympics in a year, choosing one of the most challenging sports, cross-country skiing. Peter told the world of his impossible goal and set out to begin his training. One major problem he encountered was that he had never seen snow, and on the small Pacific island of Tonga, he wasn't going to find any. So he looked online, finding YouTube videos and new ways to train away from the snow. He tied wooden planks to his feet, ran up and down the beaches, and practiced on the roads using roller skis. His training on snow began only four weeks before his first competition at the World Championships in Nordic Finland. Hi guys, this is Peter Taftofua from Tonga. I represented Tonga at the Rio Olympics and now I'm moving across to cross-country skiing. The first competition will be the World Championships in four weeks. I've only been training for three days. With most of his requirements completed through roller skiing, he was, as expressed by the news, one race away from qualifying for the Olympics. He continued to train and race in Europe, not turning out so well, coming last, last, almost last, and last. Until on the 20th of January, the last day of the qualification event, he succeeded in qualifying for the Olympics coming in second at 5 minutes and 44 seconds at a race in Iceland, the last opportunity to qualify for Pyeongchang. On his debut, Peter set his goals high for the competition. So first step, finish before they turn the lights off. That's number one. Don't ski into a tree. That's number two. He then spoke about some of the troubles and doubts that he endured to reach his goal. Um, my worst 15 kilometer was an hour 40. I lost a ski coming down a hill. And it, I mean, it sounds, a bit, it sounds a bit like a joke, but I tell you, when your spirit says you always finish a race and you lose a ski in the first lap of six laps, you question your spirit sometimes. But eventually, Peter was able to put all the pressure and doubt he was feeling behind him. At the end of the race, Taftafura finished 114th, beating five other competitors. After all his setbacks and all his training, he beat his goals, bringing pride to Tonga as their Winter Olympian, and to his family and friends back home in Australia. Peter Taftafua set his impossible challenge and completed it, 
hoping throughout that he will be able to inspire young people of the Pacific and the world to strive and be driven to open new doors, to discover things they didn't know they had, and try their best to follow their dreams. So here was this guy who would, who would never put skis on in his life from, from an island of sand and coconut trees. And, and then I thought, if I can do this, then anyone who's following this journey can achieve anything that they want to achieve.